Um, uh, what I will say is this. I have never cooked a thing in my life. Is that I, true? I can't watch food being prepared. Really? Uh, it, I, it needs to be a magic trick for me. I need Why to order did you steak. Come I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, I, I need to say I'll take a steak. At and no I get point it, did it I, say we're going to Jimmy's house and it's for a barbecue. Be a barbecue. I thought we'd be over there and and having a podcast, and then this gentleman would bring over some dishes to us. Is that you have an aversion to cooking? I can't wrong? watch it. It makes you. me vomit. And really? So it's going to be weird. Let's get an apple pie inside. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you at home? We don't cook. We go out. We go out. My wife and I. We really go out every night. Yeah, we don't cook. Night. My wife cooks for our baby, and so and can for you herself, go to? Can and you she's go, a vegetarian. She's a vegetarian, so she doesn't cook meat at all. So you don't want to see meat cooked? I can't see meat being cooked now, at all. Now, can you see vegetables being cooked? Absolutely. Oh, really? Let's see what happens. Oh, I, I think we'll be okay on a grill. It's really more of a. Um, <laughs> There's a distinction. Like if I see it on a. a so when he cooked skillet? that entire skillet. pig yeah. on Jimmy's show, how did you take it? He put a pig in the ground, and well, Jimmy's one thing didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't see that. So, uh, oh, but if I oh, watch, I got a Kilborn oh, fan. Very nice. That? Very yeah. nice. Jimmy very Kills. nice. All right. I'm not up that cool. late, guys. Listen, I got a life. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, all right, so do this. Uh, but when you mentioned that uh, you you shouldn't have it well done, I I I, I would uh, medium. I got to go medium well. No way. Uh, well, don't you again? Well, burn well, meat. Well, burn. That's Put why it on. you like this better. What? Do you like this cut better? I like better. this better? Yeah, okay. You if you go out Give to him eat the with Jimmy meat. and you order medium well, he'll punch you. I would punch him too. I would get behind him. But then I don't want to hang out with you two. How about that? All right. I don't like the fist fight that we have get to get going. over a sandwich, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Start working uh, the I think we should put his hand on the grill and <laughs> just hold it down. <laughs> so you want to cook? How am I the stooge in this Yeah, why don't you put it here? No, no, no put it on. Get I don't even want to touch it. I don't do even want to touch it. It'll nauseate me. The, the last thing you guys need is for me to vomit all over this uh, beautiful grill. All right, so okay. you can't. It's clean, clean, well oiled. You wipe it down with oil or water? With canola oil. No, canola oil. You wipe the grill down with canola oil. Yeah, very important. So you use the oil on the meat. Right. Last, so it's salt, pepper, canola oil, or vegetable right. oil, and then, and then rub it down, do and it. then slap <laughs> right on it the down. Grill. Right on the grill. Uh, don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. No. Because that will tear the flesh off. You got to wait for at least, you know. Uh, 16 minutes? Jimmy, get up here. I'm taking a look. Seconds. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Uh, I have a story about canola oil. Please. Really? I didn't know what really? canola oil was. Mm -hmm. I knew about other oils because mm -hmm. I took a class. But I thought, what is canola oil? So I looked it up, and it's from uh, Canada. And it, it actually is rapeseed oil. Heads up. Wow. But they didn't want to put, they didn't want to market an oil that had the word rape in it. Right. I know you would have. Yeah. In fact, I have Adam Carolla's exclusive, uh, uh, his year's own badge of rape oil. Is this rapeseed oil? I have a question. Is it coming 55 gallon drums? Uh, oh, and so they, they decided, well, it. let's put the word Canada into the oil. Uh huh. And that's how they market it. And now it's what oh, it that's, is today. I'm glad Thank you looked you. into that I, because I, I, I didn't know what that was insane. either. I thought canola was just a seed or plant yeah, or no, something. No, it's rapeseed oil. I'm going to point out, by the way, that I can't stop looking at this as if it's a car accident because I, I, I've never <laughs> seen meat cooking before. This is a delicious I can't stop looking accident. at it. So now you're taking butter. I After you like, mark I the wish. side, you need butter, but it's going to cook off. It's only for the color. It's going to make it golden brown. Uh huh. So not the taste. There's nothing to do with taste. No. It'll cook off. Stage, so you don't really need off. to do and, it. And is that regular appearance. salted butter or sweet butter? Either or sweet. Doesn't it matter. just means you know, sweet is just it's typically unsalted. Now you just said don't move the steak. No, the first it. 15 seconds that it hits the grill, and then it's right. and then it's you know and then it's open game. season. Now know? why? No, of course not. Well, because I mean, technically, what happens is if you put it on, there's like a little bit of moisture. You want that to cook off, and uh, you know that moisture kind of gets into the grill, and it mm -hmm. can like. It holds on, but after like 15 seconds, it, it could break off. And you've turned the meat a lot now. Yeah, I, I work it a lot. A lot of people Remember don't. In the a winter, lot of people like to have the perfect. Burn no, marks I, I on like it. more char. I like it's more char. It's the same thing, like, you know, in the winter time when everything would freeze over and you're a kid and you'd go to the flagpole and you'd stick your nuts against it? <laughs> yes, I'm listening. You grew up would... in North Hollywood <laughs> and it never has gotten below 40 degrees. I know, and that's why so it would never nuts fully bind to the <laughs> So you would just spend hours <laughs> like, just like you're I swear to you, it's January 11th, it's going to drop below freezing today. I would yell, this mm -hmm. is why they made a duck game. I'm going to look out for you, you know? <laughs> I'm good, Adam. Okay, uh, good. I have a question off topic. Yeah. Explain to me the name Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Was it originally owned by a guy named Chris and then Ruth bought it? Yep. That's, okay, we'll solve solved that problem, everybody. Yes. There we go. You, we've we've solved the canola conundrum. What we've is your what Christmas. is your favorite steak, Adam? I mean, uh, excuse me. Uh, what this what, is my favorite cut? Or um, what? I'm sorry. Uh, what at what steakhouse have you been served a steak where you went, oh boy, this is really something. Good? Yeah, this is great. 
Um, Peter Luger's in New York. Oh yeah, you that like was Peter my Luger? first, my first. Uh, wow, you know, Peter real Luger's. dry age. You know, now it's not so much, but uh, you know, back in the day, I really enjoyed it. Peter Luger is the steakhouse where when you walk in, it's like going through a beef morgue. Yeah, <laughs> it's a totally. Glass yeah. refrigerated. Yeah. Just imagine, <laughs> just about, you don't want yeah. <laughs> Just get in there, Jimmy. The, <laughs> Asian, the Asian guy from Quincy is pulling out a T-bone. It's murder. It's, it's <laughs> well, you, know it's was, murder. you know what I was thinking about Quincy the other day? Every episode of everything I saw in the late 70s and early 80s Quincy. always started off with the guy going on vacation. All right, I'm he's going about on to vacation, go, he gets the call. and he's like, all of a sudden the phone rings. So let me look at that chart, and then yeah. the, then somebody in the office trying to push him out, Quincy, and all. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Every and what never never happened that he actually left yeah, on right. vacation. That never happens to Horatio Kane. <laughs> they never. The CSL Miami. He's they, never on vacation. They're never going on vacation. Even when, uh, like, Charlie's Angels would go to Hawaii, it wasn't on vacation. Right. right. It was business. Yeah. They would fly there in bikinis, but it was business. <laughs> bikinis, right. In fairness, so do you want to watch an episode of them on vacation? I'd like I'd to see Quincy just hanging uh, out. Hanging out at the beach with the Mai Tai. Sure. With the Mai Tai. Is it a Mai Tai? It's awful! 1,400 <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> it's my Klugman. Uh, for people <laughs> that are just listening at home, yeah. what Adam has done is he's, he's now going for the butter one more time. How many, uh, so for a steak this thick, at the temperature you started at, how many minutes on the grill to okay, make so it Okay, so this is about wrap. inch, inch and a quarter to make it, uh, if it's it's boneless in this case. So to make it, it's probably about 12 minutes. About 12 total. minutes. Total. Total. Six aside, all right. And what, a, yeah, okay. What, what Adam has uh, done. I need it for me. Look, you get you, you want to go 12, you know, 11 minutes down, <laughs> one minute up. That would he's, be ridiculous. He's basted it, he keeps hitting it with the butter, which keeps giving it that sort of golden look. And yeah. then as he's flipping it over, he's, alternating it so he's getting the diamond burn like the going into the it. Yeah, it's got a great got a great sort of checkerboard look to it. Uh, have you had your cholesterol check, Adam, lately? Um, actually yesterday, yeah. How How's it going? I get the results today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's celebrate. <laughs> look at that live here on the cast. <laughs> okay, look, so this is kind of cooking. This is like getting there, okay? So yeah, this is getting horrible. charred, good. So we're gonna put it up there. All right. We're gonna go over here. This is important. Hey, what's it do up there, Adam? Is this gonna kind of- loose? Yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of still cooking, but it's on the shelf it's up above. It's staying warm now. It's yeah. it, it's on a, a shelf that is about uh, 10 inches up above the uh, grill, still staying warm. And Adam, how long after you cook a steak like this, you leave it like that? Now, Only as long as, as long as I can, you know, as right. quickly as I can but make this. But steak continues this right to cook itself, obviously, because it's still hot. It's still going. Yeah, I mean, you know, up above there, it's going to slow how down considerably. How long would you let it sit before you ate it. Like, would you eat this right now, this hot? Um, you let it cool off? A dry aged steak, I kind of eat right away. Because I like it kind of burnt and blood. So right now, you've taken more canola oil. And right. a shallot. Or, no, no, no olive, olive, olive oil. oil. Into olive oil. Now we have the olive oil. Okay. A shallot and some uh, cilantro? Chopped parsley. Parsley? That's Italian no parsley, idea. buddy. You have Italian parsley. What's the difference between the uh, USA uh, parsley and <laughs> more the flavor. guinea parsley? Oh, <laughs> so you go, you go Italian. I'm, I'm half Italian. I can say what I want Italian about Italian. those assholes. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, all right, so what we have here is we have a little, we have some lemon zest. Yep. We have uh, some, some olive oil. We have Italian parsley. We have, was that? Salt, pepper. A little salt, bit of pepper. shallot or, or sweet onion. Sweet onion. Is there a, a little bit of garlic. we could learn this on? <laughs> But well, you can get my book if you wanted it. What's too. the name of the book? And garlic. <laughs> uh, serious barbecue. All right. Okay. And so, garlic as well. So, so garlic. A, so garlic. A little Italian bit of garlic. parsley. Shallot. Yeah. Right. We've made a compost out of this. Take the steak. Hit it steak up, right goes on, on the, the grill one more Bang. time. Bang. You see, it's kind of like dancing on the top. All that butter is cooked off. You know what I like about the steak? You can literally throw it around. Yeah. You know. Beat it up There's the something about you it, take, right? You take yeah. tofu and you yeah. try to toss it, and it breaks into a million pieces. Right. It's like a fish. Fabergé I egg. I've never fish. You can't toss around either. No. It okay. just dissolves into. Now the check this grill. out. This is what right. you do. So it's like nice and sizzling. Put right. It right into that wow. flavor right, right, right there. Right in that little garden right. there. Flip it over. Right. So we just dropped it into this compote of the parsley and the olive oil and the garlic and whatnot. And I'm gonna put it back. And you throw it back on the thing <laughs> oh again. Lord. 